a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. What's going on, Star Wars fam? I'm your bro host, Daniel Miller. Welcome back to another episode of Shooting the Poodoo. We are back from a week break. Um, I think that we'll be just breaking for Labor Day. Was Pretty that much, it? Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, we've got, you know, some Ahsoka to catch up on. We've uh, had two episodes that we have missed out on talking about and one that was near and dear to my heart everybody knew what was coming up but <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, we, we also had something else that i've been just dying dying to see and play which is starfield oh all of that to talk about but uh mark mike how are you hi. guys doing hi here great still waking up because i took yeah. a nap <laughs> <laughs> the second you came in mark i can tell you were, you were a little out of it because um, mm-hmm, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm here though. <laughs> I'm chilling, representing Los Santos. What's up, everybody? We've got uh, we've got Boop in here, father son. Hey. Hello, <laughs> hello. What's going on, everybody? Um, so I'm sure everybody. Uh, well, actually, before we we get into Ahsoka. Um, I don't know how many out there are video game fanatics, but like I, I, we've been eating pretty good, right, Mike? Like I, 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 even, uh, even Mark down here, he's isn't the biggest gamer. I mean, just started playing God of War. Mm-hmm. But yeah. game of the year, right there, and and from what we're but playing right now, most anticipated game of the decade, Starfield. I, we're eating pretty good. Yes, it is uh, a lot. Uh, it's been going on for me since the last month of last well last week of August was Armor Core, then Starfield. Next week is Mortal Kombat. That is two weeks after that is Cyberpunk. Then in October, it's Alan Wake Two, <laughs> Lords of the Fallen, Spider Man Two. Mm, I'm, I'm waiting for <laughs> um, money. Just money. Just yeah. Lies of what's in Mortal Kombat is this week, right? Mortal Kombat's on comes out. These guys are these guys are so goddamn smart. Mortal Kombat came out September 13th, 1993. They have meetings. Nice. And Mortal Kombat 1 comes out September 14th, 2023. Nice. One day after on his 30th anniversary. They is all have spot have meetings, Mike. Of course they have meetings. It's a TV spot, right? Would they redo the original Mortal Kombat commercial of people r- rushing in the streets yelling Mortal Kombat? Yeah, they redo that with Batista. It looks amazing. And I can't wait. But yes, <laughs> Mortal Kombat comes out on Fatal Friday. And uh I'm excited because tomorrow will be Mortal Monday, and there's definitely one trailer left. So hopefully they show something on Mortal Monday. Bay Battle. <laughs> like whole Bay Battle needs to come back. Are you kidding me? Uh, we, we we know that Megan Fox is Megan a Fox voice, is the voice in, of in Mortal Tara. Kombat. I yep. saw the interview with her, and she yep. she feels that um, they made this character just for her, and that the, it makes that sense the that character she's voicing is it. actually just like her. It makes sense. That she's a vampire. Right. See, she's Jennifer's body, dude. Like, come yeah. on, there you go. Yeah, it happened. Also, <laughs> I mean, her I and, because... I mean, her and Machine Gun Kelly did some weird shit. I heard he was weird before some blood that. drinking stuff that was happened weird before. before. That. So I've been like, but, uh, yeah, I mean, she's in it. We got the John Claude Van Damme Johnny Cage skin that comes with the collector's edition. They showed that trailer. They previewed it on Hot Ones because Ed Boo was on fucking Hot Ones. I love Hot Ones. That is so. Um, that it's is the best like interview. Energy, 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 yeah, it's period. like the really is a smart it's thing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. If you're not doing Hot Ones and you have a, for a press junket, you're 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 missing out. Like, yeah, it's, it's almost like a mandatory thing now. So yeah. it's people. true. They do have a lot of power now. They, it yeah. is so they much wield, he wields the wings like with like almost like a wand. Yeah, I've been a fan <laughs> since season one when I first saw when I saw Key and Pill do it. I was like, what is this? 
Did they usually go hand in hand with like new material though these days now? Yeah. Like if there's some okay, see that's that's saying mm-hmm. a lot about a show and, about and where, where it's gotten the hot to. sauce has changed. Yeah. There you go. Like they know they know in like complex zones anyway. It's Good great. For them. Shout out to Sean yeah. Evans. Um but yeah, Ed Boon's all the hot ones where they show the Van Damme thing and then they show the Van Damme trailer and Van Damme's voicing himself and he's wearing the blood sport outfit. Nice. It's, it's, it's awesome. Ready uh, for some Van Damage. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We are seven minutes in, and Mark is already firing arrows. And if Dan plays it, then it's some Dan damage. So- there it is. You know, there you're lucky is. Chris isn't here. I mean, I'm lucky. Oh, I know. I would have. I would have left. It would. It would just. Bars. Yeah. It would just out be the air hatch. Me and Chris right yeah. now because Mike is encouraging it, and uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for that like dramatic music with that face coming up. <laughs> oh more. I yeah, just I'm excited like about it because I, I always love the puns. They, these are they're my favorite things. Um, yeah, so Mortal Kombat. Can't wait. Should be fine. I, I'm, I'm cool. so happy for you, and I can't wait to see and the, you play. And the guest characters, dude. Yeah. Peace Waker, yeah. Omni Man, Homelander. Come on. I, I yeah. need to see how, because like Mortal Kombat's always really done a great, great job at mm-hmm. doing a story yeah. for all. You know everything, this and now I just need to one. see how they're going to throw an Omni Man versus Homelander. It's going to be f- awesome! I swear, if Homelander does not drop that. No, but Homelander on just you. Homelander doesn't seem like he's Superman. No, no, Omni Man would destroy him in a matter of right. That's seconds. what I'm saying. Like he would just rip him to pieces. See, I, like I can't I feel even like. talk about Invincible with you guys because you guys don't even know yet. Like Omni Man. Oh, is, with Omni Man. Not even Omni Man. Like. His race power, yeah. The Viltrumites are like, you know, he's like weird. he's like low to mid tier. They're like, doing there's... that with the Adventures of Superman, that mm-hmm. new show out there, yeah. making them out to seem like those dudes. Like the Dude, Viltrumites are like on another. Imagine they were all as smart as Jarrell was, all of them. Yeah, like, it's not. It's like, <laughs> like. That just ended, right? The the, the season is I'm over. Ex- I'm yeah, excited is, for uh for really season good. two of Invincible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, good. besides that, yeah. yeah. I'm just laughing at the internet. They were like, oh man, Iron Man is the best. I was like, y'all don't even <laughs> he's just a soldier, he's just like some straight up. Yeah, yeah, he's just like he a guy. A guy. Yeah. Wait, you see who's running the shit and then yeah. compare that. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. I've I've looked ahead at some of the comics. I didn't sand. really like see much of the story, but it's oh, gonna yeah. be it's gonna be bloody. Oh yeah, um, red everywhere. But uh, yes. all right, so we've got Mortal Kombat. You're excited for? Yeah. I mean, we've got Edris Ilba with Phantom Liberty yes, coming dude. out uh, on uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Holy crap! Um, I'm I'm so pumped about that, but I'm not even gonna be jumping into that because. The game that I've been waiting for, like for years now, I feel like it's been a couple years, right? Like, right. hasn't it been a couple years? What? Since like they announced Starfield to when it actually came out? Uh, no, no, Starfield was announced. It was announced a while ago. They Hold pushed on. it back f- f- a minute, dude. That's They've it. been pushing this game back for a while, and I always knew, like when I first heard about it, I was so excited. Um, but finally, it's here, and I was 2018. like, "2018." I just looked about it. Was an E3 of 2018? Waiting for this shit for five years. Yeah, it's about five years. But it's also like twenty, like like Tommy is saying now, it's 25 years in the making. Hi, Tommy. Oh yeah, 25 years in the making, definitely. But like when we really first heard about it. And I knew yeah, that yeah, there was yeah, going to yeah. be a, a Skyrim in space. There was always talks about it. There was hints, yeah, rumors, the why, yeah, the all kinds why we're of not shit. We're getting dude. another upgrade of Skyrim or Skyrim or another Elder Scrolls because they were they were working on this, right? This is exactly. This is the... But I mean, like they teased us with an Elder Scrolls Six. They did tease us with sure. an Elder Scrolls yeah, Six, uh, yeah, but they weren't yeah. going to touch it until this came out. Like all the energy. Was and money was put into this and Fallout seventy six like they, they did a great job upgrading that game. It's an incredibly awesome game now. If you want to play like a big MMO like Fallout type game, but it's a it's it's now. a meme now, so they're not going to play. Uh, what Fallout seventy six? It's a meme now. What? It's a meme. Like it's I don't know how it be. It's so it's like Anthem. It's like if Anthem oh. were to come back tomorrow and be like we're better, it's like it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, you were, you yeah. Were, you, it, the damage was. It, it did. They did. We're very up, fickle, us gamers. It's, they did it's up over, their. It's uh, over. They did up their memberships, but I mean, it's not anything like it could have. No Man's Sky, how that failed flat on its face to play. And then it came game back, now, but, yeah. yeah. But Starfield, they came out swinging and they hit hard. Uh, I feel like PlayStation has been PlayStation and like people mm-hmm. attached to PlayStation have been like really strongly attacking this game um and why not because it is like they this game had so much anticipation so much talk Mm -hmm. of how amazing this was going to be like it had to come out like swinging especially with all the pushbacks dude they pushed this game back several times sure look at it good (laughs) look at it i'm freaking glad they did you think a game like this comes out on time you kidding me? <laughs> but I mean, like, even, me? even when they do push it back and sometimes still put it out and it sucks, like, you Whenever know, like they Cyberpunk say push was pushed, back, stay good. Well, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk was pushed and that turned out to be a Cyberpunk's shitstorm. mistake was it coming out on the current gen. And we and you all, we all know that that yeah. game should not be running on PS4s and Xbox Ones. Yeah. Sorry to my friends who had them. But yeah. I'm sorry. It should that have should been. have been a system buyer for you. Yeah, like, that's you should the, have been like they, Cyberpunk is here. Mm, I'm buying the Series yeah. X now. When yeah. they try to release these like games on multiple systems yeah. and generational systems, it is yeah. tough. Why well, do you um, think Nintendo is so successful? Because it's on one platform. Yeah, Mario's yeah. Yeah, on one right. system. You're right. You're Zelda's right. on one system. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I mean, and look at all the other ones. That's that's why Sony's so good. But I mean, like they pushed God of wars on one system. They pushed Skyrim back like years. <laughs> like it sure. was, I mean, not Skyrim, uh, Starfield back like years. Dude, but and now they were also being bought dude, by Microsoft during this. Like it's a lot, a lot of things happened to Bethesda yeah. In yeah. between the announcement of Sky of a. Uh, but it Starfield paid off. It of paid off. Like this it paid game off had sales minimal, for sure. Yeah. Minimal, yeah. minimal yeah. bugs. Any like it has the amount of bugs any uh, game would have at launch. It's as minimal that you you've seen. I've this been watching is, some stuff that I've been laughing out loud at, but I don't hate it. But it's funny. But it's like it's it's shit that you would see to almost any game, like the like before it dropped on Game Pass, like that early, like the day one access. Yeah, man, people ha- it was floating eyes and teeth and well, it was. When no. it first when it first launched, there were so many people jumping on at the same time. The servers got fucking bogged down. Like it was like a real thing. Yeah, because right everybody right, and their mom right was at launch. It. Yeah, that all the early access. Yeah. But once everything caught back up, the game was fine. Like it was it was totally fine. Like the first, I, I'm telling you, dude, I was playing it right off the rip. Yeah, I mean, I understand what it. how your experience was. I mean, that was me with Cyberpunk. And everybody saying it was buggy. Right. So like I, I had minimal hiccups too, but it's it's people were still having problems. But while there was videos out you know? there, dude, I'm not seeing any like headlines coming out going, Oh, game crashes oh, not like, at all. on no, launch. No, you know, no. like all it's the mostly, freaking reviews were pretty yeah. solid except for a few it's mostly comedic. Yeah. It's like look at all these potatoes that got in this cockpit, like shit like that. Well, that shit was hilarious because that was done on purpose. Yeah, I know. Because like uh, so like you can collect stuff and pick things up and move them around and drop yeah. stuff and then just pick them up and and put them in places. So some dude put up a a potato in a cockpit to the point where it was up to like he was like uh, head level and he so opened the door. Open and potatoes door, poured potatoes, out. Potatoes, yeah, it just fell out. It was very funny. It was awesome. It's like what that is they because one of the developers did that in the that big that big uh, press junket they did when they first showed the gameplay. She collected a bunch of sandwiches, and it was like a desk full of sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, I was collecting plushies. See, there you go. There's a bunch of plushies. Um, there's all kind. I mean, the de- the detail to like all of the planets and like like the places of interest. Let's put it that way, because like this game was created for the story and like all of the stuff that like all the side missions and everything that you do that involves like the story that they have written for this game takes you to all of these amazing places that mm-hmm. like that they have like specially curated but then there's like the exploration part where you can land on like any part of a planet and like there are things to discover and find but it's nowhere near as like 
like as crazy as like the stuff that you find within like the boundaries of the story that like you're following, whether it be the main story or side missions or even just activities. Like there's all these different levels of like side quests and shit that you could do. It's, it's incredible. It's nuts. And they only have like the sky is freaking just the limit with this game because they're just going to be just, hitting you with dlc like crazy they already have dlc ready to go it's already ready uh -huh. off the rip like they're gonna have this game coming out they're probably gonna do a few bug patches and whatnot to to you know get everything up to speed and then boom dlc probably like in six months they're, they'll release it so it's it's amazing it's amazing and it's a game that you don't have to rush to play yeah i'm literally uh <clears throat> There's too much stuff I care about in between this game. Like there's this, <laughs> so I'm gonna gradually play this. I haven't played it in like a week. It's so, so but uh, I'm, I mean, I'm on you know New Game Plus three with Armor Core and Mortal Kombat in four days, and then Cyberpunk. So I'll probably get to where Dan's at in I don't know June. Yeah, <laughs> next June. Yeah. yeah, June sounds about right. Yeah, next summer. I'm taking, um, I'm taking my time with this game. It's it's uh you should. I don't I don't I'm not where I'm at now, I'm not invested enough to keep playing it, but I'll play it on my own. Think pace. about how like think about how long you can like you can still put Skyrim on now, like the remastered version, and but still I, I, have a great time with it. Like that's and still find new stuff to do. And like all of the crap that they packed into that game, this is like that times ten. I've never played Skyrim. I know, Mike, but it's it's just amazing how they've taken that amount of shit you can do and experience, and just even all the little things. And they've just been they were just like, hey. yeah. I heard <laughs> like, every time you land on a planet, insane. it's like it's the sky. It's the, the map is as big as Skyrim's. Well, the way it's done is so like when you're on a planet, it's all nope. done like the planet's all made in tiles, mm -hmm. like all these tiles that like are maps basically. So when you land, you're landing on this like tile, and the tile that you land on is almost a map that's the size of Skyrim. So that's like a bunch of these that make up one whole planet. So, but like when it comes to the places that you land on, like when it's taken you there through a story or a quest, like it's way more detailed, like those areas than just standard areas. But Oh my God, the game's insane. I could go on it forever. We'll be talking about it a lot. Um, as we do BX gaming, we're going to have like a little sky, uh, 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 sorry, I keep saying Skyrim, a Starfield segment, but I say, let's move on to Ahsoka because we have a lot to catch up on. There were two insane episodes that we were um, able to see. Um, actually, you know, the, the episode three, it's like it almost feels like not a lot happened, but a lot happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's like they, they went into hyperspace. They found the hyperspace ring, and they had to try to get them to stop and the pergill and all that other stuff they crashed <laughs> <laughs> oh. the end of this pergill here we go all right guys the pergill when we first got to see the pergill i knew it was what was going to happen but here's here's what i need this is what i want to bring to the table here with the with the freaking pergill okay They are really rare to find. It's not like some, you know, animal that just happens to just be around, like that you're just going to run into. So they just so happen to be flying around the planet that the giant hyperspace ring that's going to go to another galaxy where they found the, the directions on a map that literally has them flying around this fucking gate oh they just happen to just be on the planet 
hanging out at that same time. Yeah. Like for fucking real, we're gonna go with that. We're just gonna say that this was just a coincidence. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, Mark, Star Mike. Wars. <laughs> Maybe Ezra <laughs> told them to wait for him. Oh, wait, wait. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's 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 Jonah, talking, and he's in the whale. Exactly, Doctor Ezra Little. <laughs> Our I, I, I'm like I'm I'm just like the alls I'm thinking of as like the pergola. And everyone's just like oh, the, like we just keep thinking that they're just these lumbering space creatures that just oh they can just they can just go in the hyperspace, but they're really they just guzzle up gas. And they just hang out and, yeah. you know, and like the people just studied them. And that's how they, they, you know, discovered hyperspace travel and all that stuff. But really, they're just these, you know, creatures. No, they're not. They're sentient beings. They communicate through the force. Ezra knows how to communicate with them. That's mm -hmm. he's dude. These Pergil are playing are going to play a huge part in all of this. It's coming up. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you that it's gonna happen. These All right. Pergil. Oh, space whales, guys. This is it's space not, whales. It, just you're making it less when you say space How? whales. Well, space off, people. Whales these are rule. these are They're real creep. These are people. They are people. They are a save, they save are the space whales, man. Intelligent beings. And everyone's just writing them off. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's I just want to. I just want to see Ezra come running in on one like freaking Atreyu and Falco. Okay, That'd it's be like... pretty cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we just we just saw that actually. Um, Friday night, I went to a drive-in theater uh, with the Sci. Dude, I'm telling you right now, man. I had the Scion XB like hooked up. Uh, open up the back. Like if anybody knows what a Scion XB, it's like it's like a toaster, a driving toaster, it's right? A, it's mm -hmm. a box. They yeah, it's a literally box. a box. But if you know what you're doing, I have this like four inch thick mattress topper that me and Julie needed to stop using because it was like destroying my back. But for a one time usage, when you put the seats down of the XB with the back open, I put like my sheet over it and everything. I brought Julie's pregnancy pillow that she doesn't use anymore and like lined it and, uh, and just opened it up, parked the car and had these great seats where I was just literally laying in the back of the car, like with uh, like friends and stuff sitting out like in the front in their uncomfortable camping chairs while I'm like literally just like laying in the back, like just the king. It was awesome. <laughs> and we watched the never ending story. Keep um, driving over here. Yeah. It was awesome, dude. Except when Artax got into the swamp of sadness. And then yeah. I, was, I was really sad. Yeah, that's not good. Wasn't awesome at all at that point. Um, Children's movie. Yeah. It's not. I mean, it's all about your imagination. And Fantasia only exists is if you could keep your imagination going, Mike. All right. I and was just saying it was the child of magic where they killed a stop, horse. That's and you all. stop like following your heart and your dreams. Oh, oh, Fantasia's destroyed. So you're just contributing to the destruction of a and bunch next of imaginary. Week we'll be people. discussing the page master with Macaulay Culkin and Chris Columbus. That's a great book. Whoopi Salt. Goldberg was the fairy godmother I, book. I saw and then the you've movie got, the theaters, so I, oh, who was who was the, the pirate guy? Oh, it was Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart was the voice of the pirate book. Christopher Lloyd was the uh he was the the, the librarian and yeah. the, the wizard. And Merlin, the wizard, yeah. Anyway, sidetrack from Ahsoka. Um <laughs> <laughs> so Mark, what do you what do you think? Wait, how do you feel about everything that's been happening with these past two episodes? The the giant hyperspace ring, Balin. What's got your what's been peaking your inches so far now we're mid-season for me it all came together with that third episode i think we just got past the setup and then you know we got to see the characters kind of living in this new reality we're seeing right i think it was a shock for me seeing them in live action at first that it took me a couple episodes to kind of be like okay here we go <laughs> you know yeah um, but yeah seeing all that the hyperspace ring what we saw in this last episode, I mean, I was just, the way it ended, I was just so excited. 
And I don't know that I know what is going on just yet, other than don't trust Anakin. Ahsoka. Oh, that's not him. So I'm you're in trouble, girl. (laughs) Let's 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 get back to that. And I wish you know what? Maybe I could probably pull up some pictures on oh god Twitter. Uh, I'm not calling it X. I'm never going to call it that. Um, Maybe I could pull up some pictures on it because so I'm getting there's some contention here. Now we we were talking about it in the chat. Is is this a chat in our private chat? We were talking about it. But in the chat for the people watching right now, is it Anakin's or is it Vader's lightsaber? Exactly. I'm saying I'm saying that it's Anakin's and you're getting a black cloak reflection i think so is what you're right because i thought it was vader's at first and i took a better look at it and i'm like huh that looks like a reflection over it but there were certain like little isn't that part of like you're supposed to kind of like wonder right right maybe it's like a mixture of parts who knows i don't know like maybe that's you're right right like i I couldn't i couldn't figure it out because i'm looking at the pictures and no one has produced a high def enough pick for me to be like it's definitely anakin's um but there was some stuff where i'm like the one piece where the switch is is supposed to be black but it's chrome Mm. and like that part is chrome but like it looks like the other parts aren't but that's where i'm thinking that's the reflection from the cloak but why isn't that other part reflecting the cloak as well? So, so some of it has got me a little twisted um, on whose it actually is. So I w- I'm interested in what the chat thinks if they've seen that little argument that's been going on. But it is, it is that if it was Vader's dude, that would have been very interesting, right? Like that mm-hmm. would be a, 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 a cool little tell as to. Like almost like uh, the way they did tear Mike in God of War, where it's like it's not really tear. Hey, you know? hey, Mark is playing the game. I didn't hear anything. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> damn it! I didn't hear anything. It's all good. It's, it's all uh, good. It's, it's all good. <laughs> In one ear, out the other. I hope so. It's been stricken from the record. Ooh, all good. Yeah. So there's a little slight <laughs> clear in here for that. It would have been interesting if it was. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, oh, God. God. Hell. Not, like, Jesus I'm... Christ. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so new to it in that I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So it's okay. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> needs to get in here and talk a little bit of, of this with us. Um, yeah. But yeah. I, it would have been interesting if it was uh, post here says post Vader Anakin is going to be interesting. Yes. Yes. You're right, Chris. I, I I'm man, but what else Mark about like we've been getting, how you've been feeling about, do you think has his dad and Hera like totally just blew everything up in his face, which was awesome. I think that for me is the moment where Hera became Hera as we know her. Right. The mm-hmm. fact that that fight, that that mother figure, the fact that she was there and she was like, uh-uh. <laughs> it's like, let me tell you. <laughs> you know, that that was fantastic. I love that. Um, and then we finally got to meet Jason, right? We got to see live action Jason. I mean, it's like, that's fantastic. Obviously, you know, the, he's showing force sensitivity, which is fantastic. I'm glad they didn't like skip over that just yet. It's already there, you know. Yeah. what's going to happen with all that because again if 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 you know Ezra comes to teach him that'd be fantastic too but oh yeah um Jeez. yeah i i I'm, I, I all these little elements upon the place we got to see the ghost you know i mean that was awesome there's just a lot especially in this yeah. episode that i just felt it made me feel like a little kid again i hadn't felt like that in a while it's with, like star wars stuff we've seen right it just it was just i was just so happy when it was done it was like you know squealing every other minute and like you know just acting like a fool while i was watching the damn episode <laughs> yeah it really is just like candy for you know uh, all of us who like dedicated our time to rebels and and the more that i've been watching this though the more people that didn't watch rebels could really enjoy this like with balen and and shin and their whole story and just 
just seeing the master and apprentice, you know, with, with, you know, Ahsoka and Sabine, and especially someone who doesn't have those natural force gifts, like most people, like, like most people who are chosen to be Jedi. Um, and I kind of want to go down that road, that discussion in a second about like force abilities and who and who can't be a Jedi, because um, it's kind of the message I felt like they were pushing there. Uh, but it, it's it really is. Um, it's been interesting. And especially it's crazy to think about how like, you know, Jason Sindula being trained as a Jedi going to Luke's school and then getting murdered by Kylo Ren. You know? Yeah, man, that's gonna be sad. Right. Hopefully that's, that doesn't happen. Right. Yeah. But I yeah. mean, it's insane to think about that. Like anybody with force sensitivity at that is at his age might end up at the temple that Ben Solo destroys. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see though. We'll see. I mean, I think I think that if Ezra does come <laughs> back, it's like I don't know. He may not want to go down that path. Like, and and here's the other thing too. It's like, like I was saying, I think there's some hesitation there with Hera when he brought it up about you know wanting to be a Jedi. How there seemed to be some hesitation on her end because of what's happened with Kanan. She probably doesn't want him to go running down that path, right? And so, if she'd be like, okay, I want you to train him, but can we keep you away from other Jedi and stuff and all that other mess? So it would keep him away from Luke and all that, you know. Because, I mean, I don't know that I'd want my family around the Skywalkers. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, right? Too much. Too I'm much sorry. Crazy shit. Too much crazy shit happens. <laughs> it's like you know? the center of the galaxy seems to follow them, and so does the drama. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. <laughs> so, what do, you, what do you feel about this? this what, do we think, what do we think's going on? She's on Snake Wave. She has to go meet. Uh, Goku at the end of Snake. It was the, in the backstage joke. area, like in Streamyard. <laughs> she hasn't entered. <laughs> well, I think that the, I think that's just the thing that right now everything at the end of that episode was a big reveal. But there's a lot of misdirection here. We're we're not seeing the meat in the sandwich just yet, and that's what this yeah. next episode is going to be. Right, um, we're going to get to see everything as it is because. For a lot of people, it's going to be a new experience. For the rest of us, once we see what's going on in here, it's going to be total eye candy, you know? Right. Um, yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, she she fell, and then she wakes up in this thing. You know, what we all who have seen Rebels know to be from what it looks like that she's on one of the paths of the world between worlds, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but this could be like I was like talking with Chris about how uh so this is what Chris is thinking, um, which mm -hmm. it, it is very, very easily have happened. Ezra pops out, saves her by bringing her in between the world between worlds or somebody does Anakin but I, I mean he was I don't know maybe it could have been Anakin I don't know it's just weird weird if it's Anakin um I don't how they're going to explain that with but whatever um Ezra where is he if it was him because he's the only one that we know that knows about the world between worlds well Ahsoka does too um so does the then, Emperor and so did the Emperor you're right yeah. the Emperor my, you're right and he's still around mm -hmm. yeah yeah he's still around he's in the freaking he's being grown right now or something in the unknown regions still so, some some black magic shit happening force and stuff but yeah there's that sprinkle going some, on sprinkle some black magic on that <laughs> <laughs> the docks the, uh, the some, some, someone put some, some dark Sith roots stuff. down <laughs> but black I'm thinking magic. My my thought with with what's going on with Ahsoka, I which I don't think it's gonna be, but is that she's going like she's falling and she's knocked out or whatever, and she's having like a like in the moment 
force like vision type thing where she was doubting herself as she's fighting Balin, right? Because Balin brought up Anakin's fall to Darth Vader and mm -hmm. immediately was like, what is, how does that make you feel? He basically was just played some psycho psychological bullshit on him. He's like, yeah, he's like, Oh, well, if, cause like she tried to shoot back, like, Oh, I've never heard of you. Like that kind of, you were just some Jedi bullshit that no one's ever heard of just throws that at him. But then she was like, yeah, but your master killed all these people and destroyed everything. And how does, and, and you were like, you know, you walked away and abandoned him, you know, basic, basically, and just attacked her freaking whole thing. So she immediately is going through this fight with this dude who's also pretty freaking strong that she's having trouble with because now she's in her, you know, late 40s. So she's not the young, strong Jedi she used to be. Um, so she's having trouble doubting herself. And now she falls, gets knocked out or whatever, maybe. And she's going through this like split second, you know, life moment where she might die. But then she's into this force thing that's happening all in this span of a moment, you know, and she sees Anakin and she's going to have this talk with Anakin. And then she might even have this fight with Anakin right on that rainbow bridge thing. And then she wakes up in this fall, does her thing to save herself. Like, because we know Jedi can save themselves from falling, except for Mace Windu. He doesn't know how to stop himself, but she wasn't getting hit by lightning. She was, she just got kicked or whatever, you know? Yeah. So yeah. she could easily save herself with the force. So maybe that's it. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Or she got pulled into the world between worlds. And that's how she gets to the next galaxy is world between worlds some way. Um, but I just, yeah, we'll see. But I'm thinking the per Pergil are the gate for them to the world between to, to get to the other galaxy. The Pergil. Calling it right now. Pergil. What, if they, what if Jason can communicate with them too? Right, hmm. Mike. Yeah, man. What do you What do you think about all, all of it? What's what What you've been seeing so far with these four episodes, and and being someone who hasn't watched Rebels and seeing what you've seen all the way up to now? Uh, a little confused, but you know, break it down. Um, yeah, I don't know what the world between worlds is. Uh, yes, I have. I have no idea what that is. Um, I do. All, I can tell you what I've what I like is all the Ray Stevenson and his apprentice are awesome. Um, especially like their wardrobe. I think they're. I think how he's dressed like a legit like knight yeah. with the long belt, and she literally has on like samurai armor. It's like very cool. Um, and I like how there is this push pull with his apprentice as well. Like she's also hot headed, like how Sabine is like like again, like I said, I think like last week, like or week before, like uh him and uh uh Ahsoka are very alike when it comes to like why they probably like left the forces probably right like, well left the Jedi's probably like around like like the same reasons. Um they're a lot alike rather. But for yeah, from what I've seen, like, you know, uh I'm just a little confused on a lot of these characters because I've never watched Rebels. So, but I like, I mean, I like what I'm, you know, everything else is fine. So, I'm interested to see what happened between Sabine and Ahsoka, why there was this, you know, push pull in the beginning. Right. If, if they talk about that, I don't know. Um, there's four episodes left, right? I wonder yes. if we're yeah. going to get that this next episode. And I'd hate to say filler, but. Now that the master and the apprentice have now split, Sabine is shot over to another galaxy. Uh, Ahsoka is now going through this. Either she's in the world between worlds thing or whatever. But now maybe this next episode is going to be that thing that set them apart to begin with. You know, that'll that'll fill us in on what happened. And then the sixth episode will be like them rejoining back like it'll kind of be like a flashback 
what happened to what they're doing now to get back like to for Ahsoka to get to where she's going to what Sabine's doing but there's going to be a lot of that like middle of the episode kind of thing where it's jumping more back to the past on why they have this contention between the both of them and what split them up we'll get more of that flashback of what happened to them than what they're actually doing in the present kind of thing, you know? And then the, the six episode will be back to like all the meat of like what's going on in the present. And then seven, eight, bang. I do like how, uh, what's his name? Who's the, uh, the inquisitor dude. Oh yeah. What the f- Holy shit. So that was a dope fight one. So was he like some night sister witchery? I, that's what it, it seems looks like. like. That's what it seems like. Essence of fart. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> right. He was green and, ass, like, right? and the dude ripped ass. He was just like, Bleh. yeah. And that explains probably like why his voice was all like super distorted. He looks like he was like some. It felt like some sort of zombie. Yeah, we exactly. animated. It was so situation. fucked up, dude. Yeah. It's pretty cool, though. It's yeah, I like cool. yeah. When I was said and done, I was like, okay. So who did so? I guess what's her face made him. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, I would assume Elspeth yeah. made him. Yep. Yo. God damn, that was so cool. Everybody was wrong. You were all wrong. I was wrong too, but at least I was still right about it being an inquisitor, just a dead one. <laughs> It was just actually it wasn't anybody. I think it was just armor. Yeah, it was just yeah. armor that was filled with fart gas. a very good foot soldier, so to speak. Yeah, you know? so yeah, yeah. fart yeah. gas armor reanimated soldier. like it was just reanimated armor. Basically, is all it was with that 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 filled in really nicely in the glutes. Um, well, that's you know that's where all the, the gas it's went. The gas, yeah, the gas. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> very true good good oh man that you should was have called the character general amazing... booty but that's, that's the point ah! i just i you know what i always love but th- that's what makes star wars like i guess what it what makes it fun um yeah is is everybody guessing all of these different things when it comes to like a mass figure and yeah, it's fun. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be serious. You don't have to take it so fucking seriously all the time with that stuff. You know, like people have fun with guessing the whole who it could movie be. about that very subject. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, <laughs> so it was, it was, but like you know, me, I'm just yeah. like taking it too literally, and I'm like, it's no fucking buddy, stop it. It's not Ezra. Because like some people getting like super serious, like it's it's got it's I think it's Ezra. I'm like, no, it's fucking not Ezra. Stop it with that shit. Makes no sense. But it is it is fun to see like other people joining in. Um, where Nick from Wills was saying it was Jason and he had like sticks stilts on his feet, his hands <laughs> and stuff inside the suit. It's three Jasons in a trench coat. Yeah, it's actually, it was yeah, actually Jason, yeah. you know, yeah. and it's just like they did, they, they kind of did something similar with like, you know, it was like another child and like Jason on yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> three Ewoks in the trench coat. There you go. There you go. That's it was it. actually right um, full grown Kitster. Uh, that's see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 I saw that. Um, yeah. See, that's what Tommy, that's what I was thinking. It was like a corpse, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, because it was just like it, it, all that gas that spewed out of it. I guess maybe that was just all the yeah, whatever. I want. It, still, I would love to see at some point if they're going to do that. If that's like maybe just a precursor of what we're going to see. It's like if there was a um, I'm trying to think of like a um, Harryhausen fight against like demons or like like skeletons. You know, mm-hmm. like in the Sinbad films, yeah, that sort of thing, eyes, right? Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. freaking sweet. Oh, yeah. oh, give me, give me. <laughs> yeah, Jason the Argonauts. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, I love that. Oh, I'm so curious as to what, like, I mean, just you know, uh, there was a so some idiot like on Twitter, I guess, doesn't what? narrow it down. It is does not Twitter. narrow down. Well, like, I guess, like, they don't understand <laughs> what multiverses are on Twitter, and what? they they mentioned something about how there was a new galaxy introduced, and now that there there's now it's a multiverse, and I was like, that's not no, what not. That, that's that, not what that's that a new means. galaxy. That means. Not like what that, ours. Not we have galaxies happens. we've never even been to. Right, you know? right, no. but it did bring up the the topic of like if 
Star Wars entered into multiversal territory because be with the world attack. between worlds, you can technically Hop in. use it. You could technically create a multiverse theory using that. That's I guess a lot of and, characters, buddy. And there's a different door. There's one for like you know where Easter's at. There's one for Christmas, and then yeah, one for right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, the Halloween door, exactly. <laughs> but like, I, it just like got me thinking. Like, if they started toying with that, like, how would that? Would, would, not... Very carefully, I think. I, I mean, because they would lose a lot of people. I think just in general, yeah. not just Star Wars fans, you know, because mm. we have a problem with everything. But uh, <laughs> just in general, I think it would be too much. Yeah, you would have to have it be very carefully. It's like, I think with this, the best thing to do is have Ahsoka wake up. Literally, it's like Wizard of Oz. You wake up. And, you know, it's like you were there, you were there and you were there. And it's like, you know, waking up from this dream where you learned a lesson that you're going to carry the rest of your life sort of thing. Yeah. And that's yeah. what this is to me. This is what this looks like. It's going to be a dangerous one. But I, at the same time, it's like you're going to come out at the end of, end of this having a better idea of where you're going and then how to get Ahsoka to be a better apprentice. And right. finish up what you okay. need to do. OK. Yeah. I like that. How to be a better master? Yeah. How to get, have uh, your apprentice work alongside you? That's that. Yeah, I I don't know. Yeah. That's to me it makes perfect sense. So right, and that's what I'm thinking too. Like this is some type of vision thing that she's having because like literally she's struck. Like there's it's the whole master apprentice struggle thing. Mm -hmm. um, you've got the the Obi Wan and Anakin comic book was one of my favorite freaking series where it was written by Charles Soule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's basically right at the beginning. Uh, um, Anakin's a teenager. It was right, right before the uh, attack of the clones. Yeah. And it's Obi-Wan trying to figure out how to train this boy. And he, and it's like, he, he's just trying to figure out like, you know, his way and he's failing. Yeah. And he feels like he's failing him. Um, and we've, we've seen that multiple times with Obi-Wan um, with yeah. Anakin because he wasn't really ready for it. Uh, or him. But, I mean, yeah. look at, can you imagine being handed somebody like Anakin? Not just the fact that you have this person you have to take care of and raise, but the fact that they're literally one of the most powerful beings in the galaxy. It's like, how yeah. the heck do you even start to begin to put a plan together? <laughs> yeah, right. And then you've got you've got Ahsoka who was trained by Anakin. Not only not now not only has she been trained by Anakin, but she finds out who Anakin was and what he turned into mm. down the road. Now she's dealing with that trauma while she's trying to train Sabine, who's also incredibly emotional, hard headed, <laughs> and 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 difficult. You know, uh, yeah. thank God she doesn't have like the the overwhelming force abilities that anakin possesses That's exactly um yeah. but you know she she's still a pain in the ass and <laughs> and ahsoka's afraid that you know giving her any type and tell teaching her you know more that she's going to use it you know the way she doesn't want her to or whatever and and it would be her fault if she hurts somebody before um, i forget i was going to ask you guys something sorry to interrupt no, um, what that one moment where Shin and her were fighting and she raised her hand up. Did we not hear like a force sound like she managed to have like a slight little force push for a minute? I wonder what if what happened they in that moment there. I wonder she if said they you were, have no power, right? Right. Well, I wonder if they were do like they used the sound like editing or whatever to make us to fake us out too. Could be Maybe. because Maybe. even Shin <laughs> flinched and then she was just like, wait a minute, what? Exactly. Um, which it's just like so that's the road I wanted to go down to maybe close out this show um, where it's like, so what's going on here? What's going on here with this? What are they doing? What What is Dave doing? Are, so everyone can use the force now if you try hard enough. Is that is that what we're we're being told now? The force resides in everybody. Anyone can be a Jedi if you try hard enough. Is that? Is that what's happening? I am with what the was the lesson the in the never-ending story you just told us about? <laughs> <laughs> a 
imagination, Dan. I know. I know. Well, no, I get no, no, no. I get it, though. I get it. I don't right, want to. Right. Because if everyone's special, then nobody's special. That's, yes. that's sure. the, the one thing that I don't want to happen. I yeah. love it. We we live, we, we, we obviously live and breathe this damn galaxy. We eat it up. We're here talking about it and everything. But yeah, I want it to be where there, there is kind of like that fine line. Yes, there always will be force sensitive people and people who can tap into it better than others, you know. But yeah, I, I just, I want there to be like, this is what makes Sabine special, but not like where she joins and becomes a Jedi all of a sudden, right? You know, like you can will it into happening sort of thing. But like you said, it's just when she finds her way, I want it to be Sabine's own way. I don't want yeah. it to be something we've seen. You know, I yeah. don't want a big reveal like Ray's moment where all of a sudden she catches the lightsaber. I, I that We've already seen that, you know? Yeah, you're right. So, you're totally yeah. right about that. Um, I, it's... For me, it's like, if you're going to make it this way, then explain it to a way that I could understand. And you know what? There's a way that makes it w way understandable that people have written off, and it's midichlorians. Midichlorians. Yeah! yeah! Give me that calculator, baby! That's right. Midichlorians explains this whole thing away, where it's like the midichlorians are in everybody and everything, but it just depends. And, and this is what the Jedi, you know, they only selected people with a high midichlorian count. That's very right? true. And with, with a certain level of midichlorians where they knew the abilities would be easy to manifest, that they can, they can train and control, um, that they knew that would be at, like all at a certain power level. So they didn't have to worry about people being like less powerful, that they would have to train even harder you know, and whatnot. So it was a lot easier to train these people because they already have an affinity for the force. But then you've got someone like Sabine, who's just like, God, they've got some midichlorians, but they really, really have to open up for those midichlorians to, to, to give them any type of, you know, ability to tap into the, to manifest the force the way that the Jedi do, you know, that would make me feel better. I mean, if Not, Liam Neeson said oh, the it, force gospel, just resides you know. in everybody, man. And if you just try hard enough, you could be as powerful as Anakin. Peace. Fuck no, you can't. It's Shut true. up. Shut up. You can't. I don't know if you could be as so powerful stupid. as Anakin, but it's you can, a little you know. weird though. It's like if the Jedi, like the way they did that, because that's a form of eugenics. You're excluding these people right out. It's like you know, oh, well, we're better than you. Come to my temple. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just like it's just one of those things. Like it's just like, look, man. There's some people that are just better, uh, uh, naturally yeah, yeah. better th at things than others. Like athletes. We all can't be whatever. baseball players. Some people. No, we can't. We can't exactly. Up, some people could just exactly. are great at stuff, and yeah. other people have to try really hard to be maybe even close to as good as someone that doesn't mm -hmm. have to train as hard to be as good. You know, it, it, it's very just, naturally. It, that's a real yeah. part of life, and and the message that. You can be as good as anybody if you try hard enough. It's just like, well, that's not true. You kind of just like, you're, yeah. you're 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 fucking with the way life really is. But it doesn't matter if if you want to do it that way. Fine, I guess. But maybe make it explainable. But if Sabine all of a sudden can just start throwing shit around just because she opened herself up to the force, I'm just kind of like, I just just. I'm sorry, Dave. It just seems like you just wanted your freaking punk rocker Mando chick to finally have some force abilities. I mean, she is always so much more than that. Yeah. Like being is pretty awesome. She yeah. is awesome. It, yeah. and, and it just it, it just I feel like it's like, why do you now you have to give her force powers out of no freaking where? Yeah. Like it's I said, I wanted her to kick that. ass like in no a lightsaber sense. fight. I wanted her to be able to defend herself and just like kick ass doing it. That to me would be, be like yeah. this will be awesome to see. You know, you know? what that is, Mark? Yeah. That's, that's that's Batman. That is Batman. very much Batman. That's Batman. Batman. Right. And that's <laughs> and why it has Batman's been, cool. but it, it's it hasn't been it's never been like really elaborated on. I mean, where didn't, I saw they, some scenes they where talked she had about Glory right? like one freaking time. Oh, okay. We kind of understood that that's what they were for, but after that, it was just never really touched on, and uh, it just it would just the, be M, nice. the it M count was the last clarity. time it was brought up, right? M count was the last time it was brought out in that episode with uh, Pershing. Was the last time we heard the the it even brought up, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. So that's it, it's it's good. It's good that that's where it's going, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 it just makes me like, like ah, uh, it, it's just like I was just like this this whole thing with 
anyone can do it if you try well, hard enough and you I've can seen... be just as good as anyone. She Any had the dark way. saber, it's, right? It doesn't make sense. She did. So she yeah. could defend herself with a well, lightsaber. Broken. Right? Well, she she was she had a dark saber that she was defending herself using to defend herself with, right? But she yeah. is also which which does make sense for her to be a Jedi, is that her ancestor was the first Mandalorian Jedi. Isn't that her mm. ancestor? Or was a Mando? I think she's related to the first. Is she related? Chat? Is she related Chat? to the first Jedi? Tommy would know this. Um, what's, name, uh, Paz, what's his name? The um, first Mando Paz Jedi. Uh, no. That's basically, yeah. yeah. All right. Tar, 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 whoever it was. Yeah, whoever it was. But it yeah. Was something visible, like that. Yeah. Tar, I think it was something like that. Um, but I, th I thought she was somewhat in that bloodline somewhere or something like that maybe not maybe she's just a mando tar vizsla her her clan is from tar yes okay. yeah thank there you, you go thank you. bang <laughs> um <laughs> it's her clan i like mark's idea of just i wish she was just like she could be just like this badass with like a lightsaber and like you think she has the force so she's that good it's yeah, pretty, exactly. i mean that that's what That'd i'm saying cool. and that's what mark is saying she's like she's more than that where like it would be badass that she doesn't have force abilities, but she's just such a freaking badass fighter that, you know what I mean? Like she uses her rocket boosters and all of the things around her to be better than a Jedi, you know, than the Jedi that she can face off against just by being Sabine. Yeah. You know, or like um, using the force, like in the form of like a light echolocation, right? Like how Ahsoka's trying to teach her, right? You know, it's like be aware of your surroundings. This is going to make you a better like fighter and so mm -hmm. to speak when you right. have to use this for, form of combat i mean really but, that's what she was trying to do but you know and as i was saying before like um with like like uh, uh what's his face um i jedi koran horn right there was he just didn't have like a strong affinity like where it came to telekinesis and mm -hmm. stuff like that where sabine knight not, might not be able to like force push and move shit around and you know slice a pear and feed you know her cat with it or whatever <laughs> but you know she can she like 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 with poe dameron you know like i feel like poe dameron when he's flying um he subconsciously opens himself up to the force mm. and that's why he's such an amazing pilot right where sabine you know can open herself up to the force and it just gives her like incredible reaction time and you know and she can just think faster and move quicker and anticipate things a lot easier but it just it just throw me off where all of a sudden she's just like fucking throwing crates at somebody and and you know all of a sudden she's just this you know car carbon cut jedi um I, I like like it with you know what you're saying mark is where yeah, she that'd be is cool like she is her own type of jedi like she is she's took it to a her own level um that like speaks to who she is and what we've seen from her so yeah it's uh it's gonna be interesting to see what where the road they go down with all of that um but yeah like, yeah i'm like thinking really hard about like this idea that mark put in our heads here like i want to see that so bad now <laughs> just her being like i have no jedi she's like ah! yeah 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 she, you know what i mean like, like yeah! she's using the lightsaber and all of a sudden she's just like whistling birds <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like exactly the combination somebody, you know of like I mean? that right that'd be awesome the yeah, best like, of the mandalorian slices. the best of, of the jedi it's all in that one yeah, person like she's batman like, she's got like a lightsaber and she's coming down and all of a sudden <laughs> she kicks on her freaking like her her flamethrower on her wrist as she's like you know also with a Yep. lightsaber like there'd be like so many cool things she could do with her armor and wielding Smoke a bombs lightsaber. you know it's it's just yeah and the whole blaster lightsaber combo i'm saying gadgets you know, she's got the gadgets she's got all the thermal detonators she's save and all space Gotham, we have yet dude. to see her use her famous thermal detonators really space i think Gotham, we saw her probably. use one or something like that i 
I can't remember, but we haven't seen she Sabine so far hasn't put on the armor in a while and she's doubting herself as a fighter. She's missing Ezra. We have yet to see her be her. And I, I put out a Twitter post the other day about like her giving the map up to Balin. Right. And I'm just like, wow, if this is her just giving in. Wow. Like, come on, don't be so weak. But she's got to have something up her sleeve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's playing the long game. And I'm hoping that we see Sabine shine the most, like, when she finally is confident in herself to know that she's going to walk out of there. You know, that's when we get to see her throwing the freaking thermal detonators at everybody and doing all the cool shit. Uh, But (laughs) do you think we'll... Okay. Do you think we'll get Ezra and Thrawn in the next couple episodes, or do you think it's going to be like a, at the season finale kind of I thing, and they're going to set us up for a movie or a yeah. season two? One hundred percent. Think it's going to cut the Thrawn sitting in a chair. It's oh, going to be Lars Mik- Lars Lars Mikkelsen is going to be like boom. I know. Yeah. He's right, though. That dude's right. It would be a perfect weapon for Sabine. That makes sense. The staple gun light. I've seen that, yeah. It's my favorite lightsaber hilt ever made. I loved that lightsaber. The fact that it shot like um, the the shock balls out. It's awesome. And, dude, how about Balin? Just just close off with just... He's awesome. Fantastic! How He's amazing awesome. his character is. One of my favorite new characters. Like everything from that, that the, the way he delivers his lines. Mm-hmm. He's a I, that's what I was thinking. Actor. I was just thinking about that. What I was thinking, I was like, what are, you know, what things we're going to talk about when we're on the show? It's like, look at how we've only known that character, but now for four episodes, and right away, it's already like part of the bigger universe we already know, right? I don't. I didn't even blink. I'm all like, yeah, that's Balin. I was like, dude, that's like, I want more. I no, want unfortunately, it's too. like unfortunately outside of like a novel or something because I don't know how they're going to address that, you know, now. But it, it, it's unfortunate that this is all we're going to get to see yeah. of that character. And I don't know. I mean, that reca- recasting would be a little weird at this point, but who knows what they have planned? You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know I know Brian Fry, you know, wouldn't want to take up the mantle um, <laughs> of of playing Balin, but uh yeah, it would it would definitely be cool to see more stuff about him and unfortunate that Ray Stevenson has passed and we we can't get more of him. We don't know how much other footage has been shot that isn't used or That's what true. they might have already done for season two stuff. Who knows? Um, but it really is unfortunate and it just that character was so freaking cool that man but you know <laughs> sorry brian but yeah it, it, it's just hey you should feel great that you resemble somebody that did such an amazing job and uh but yeah sadly that's just a goddamn shame such a talented person. Sad. But the show is great. And I, I'm loving every second of it. It, it, it is, it's just a feast. Uh, they they definitely dumped all the money in. I, I can't wait Beautiful to show. see what's going on with Ahsoka. We've got Hayden Christensen back and de-aged. How do you guys feel about that? Oh, the de-aging thing? I thought he looked great. I, didn't I think care. we should stop doing it. I really just don't put, care. Just put the actor there. Just stop I it. I just don't give a crap. I, I think it's and fine. They shouldn't either by not doing it. Just put the actor there. We know it's supposed to be young Anakin. We get it. Yeah. Just, just, just He looks young enough to do it. Just dress him up. Yeah, as sure. It. If it's I not just, needed, like, I don't just do don't it. mind it. I don't, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't know why it's ever made a big deal, but I guess it's just, you know, people complain to complain. But it's okay. I mean, he's just using his force filter, you know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was force, yeah. It was a f- exactly, Mark. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but anyway, it's just it's just a Tupac hologram of Anakin. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wasn't there a Whitney hologram too? Sure, like... yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, well, I think um, we covered pretty much everything that's happened. Uh, great, great catch up for the mid season. Great talk about Starfield and and uh, Mark. I hope that your journey t- through Ragnarok is a good one now that yeah. you've been playing that yeah Dad, be quiet yeah i'm sorry he already forgot he doesn't even remember yep plenty of tears to be jesus had jesus christ uh, <laughs> then he said google, google i'm like god damn it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this uh, i'm excited because you know they are really building um this this Filoni verse, this Mando verse, whatever you want to call it, uh, they're they're gaining a lot of steam. This Ahsoka show is just like it's been going like from here to just everything's been so amazing. Kenobi was so good. Andor was fantastic. I'm and everyone out there who who isn't in this chat because I know none of you are doing it. Stop comparing everything to Andor. Ahsoka is amazing. Ahsoka is really freaking good stuff. And just because it's not like on this like more serious tone or whatever that Andor took doesn't mean it's not good. I hate hate the, the, the shit. I mean, honestly, I don't Andor think Tony compares. Gilroy wants you comparing it to his, to his Andor anyway. So no. it's like it's so like no. Yeah. no, they're all they're all cool. They're yeah. all friends. But yeah, anyway. So it was a different flavor of Kool-Aid. That's why it's <laughs> That's Hell why yeah. That, that's why it was that flavor of Kool-Aid. And that's exactly what we talked about the whole time, where it was just like you can get different flavors of Kool-Aid. Yeah. And they're out and there. Everyone's got a flavor they can have. What kind of Pop Tart you want? We got I like fruit punch. There you go. And Dan strawberry likes, frosted Dan likes tart. fruit punch pop tarts and strawberry frosted pop tarts. Frosted Stra- strawberry drinks. Shut there up. you go. Where can everyone find you, Michael? Uh you can find me here every Sunday, 9 p.m. EST for Shooting the Poodoo. And you can find me every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. EST for PX. That's a floor dash underscore gaming. Watch your step. Dan, Dan here is behind the wheels of steel playing Last of Us 1. I did Last good. episode, he did, he did very good. Did good this time. He did very good. He was very afraid to do things. It was very hilarious. Well. He was afraid to get easy kills on 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 clickers because they were it's clickers. Not it was easy. Very, it was they hilarious. turn around really quick. They dude, do turn like... around. Yeah, yeah. But you it was funny. Shiv them. <laughs> and then they, you know, and then, then it happens. Yeah, then it yeah. happens. So stay tuned for more of that. We're playing it till it's done, and then um, yeah, stay tuned on the uh, third game whenever that happens. We're still figuring it out. We may go to Last of Us too. Who knows? And we'll be doing some Starfield talk too, you know. Maybe bringing up uh, some screen shares on like, yeah. the building and and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, stay tuned for that stuff. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I, I, anyway, Mark, like where can everyone find you? Pop tart. You can <laughs> you can find me um, on what Sundays here with you folks. Um, and on social media as IMLW though. Nice. You can find me at Stay on Target 42 here every Sunday live with these fine folk. Uh, Claire and Raven couldn't make it. Uh, Raven probably had a Green Day uh, football party because Jordan Love killed it today. Uh, congratulations, Raven, on your new quarterback and how amazing he's doing. Nice. Um, Claire the Bears, uh, she had them today, so she was probably doing some sort of the Bears thing. Uh, J- Justin Fields, uh, he's something, and um, yeah, so they weren't here, but uh, surely we'll be back for next week. And uh, thank you guys for joining us. And I'm gonna start calling Ristoka. people, I don't like root beer pop tarts. That's awesome. That's, I like uh, that root beer pop tart over there. Well, all like right, that root beer pop tart over there. It's good seeing you guys. May the force <laughs> be with you, always. Always, yeah. Impressive. Most impressive. That's it.